హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఇంట్రోడక్షన్ టు మాస్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ ఏ మాస్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో నోన్ యాజ్ మెటల్ ఆక్సైడ్ సెమీ కండక్టర్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్ ఈజ్ ఎ ఫండమెంటల్ బిల్డింగ్ బ్లాక్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ డివైస్ దట్ యాక్ట్స్ లైక్ ఎ స్విచ్ ఆర్ యాజ్ అన్ యాంప్లిఫైర్ విచ్ కంట్రోల్స్ ది ఫ్లో ఆఫ్ కరెంట్ బిట్వీన్ టూ టెర్మినల్స్ విచ్ ఈజ్ సోర్స్ అండ్ డ్రెయిన్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ వోల్టేజ్ అప్లైడ్ టు ది థర్డ్ టెర్మినల్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ గేట్ so mos transistors also known as metal oxide semiconductor transistors are fundamental building blocks of modern electronics it acts as a switch or an amplifier and it controls the flow of current between two terminals which is source and drain so this control of flow of current between two terminal will be based on voltage that is applied to third terminal which is gate this is an example that shows how a mos transistor works you just imagine source and drain as two end of a pipe and gate as a valve that controls the water flow through this pipe so similar to this the current flows in the channel of a mos transistor and the voltage that is applied across the gate will determine whether the channel allows the current to flow or it will blocks the current flow which means the gate terminal will be acting as a wall that controls the flow of current from source to drain in a transistor so this control of current makes mos transistors incredibly useful in digital electronics like mobile phones and computers where they act as a tiny switch to process the information now let us understand n mos transistor in an n mos transistor n stands for n type which means the majority charge carriers in n mos transistor are electrons so this n mos transistor has key characteristics like it has majority charge carriers as electrons so the electrons are the majority charge carriers that carries the current in a n mos transistor the electrons are negatively charged so they are attracted by positive voltage next is gate voltage effect to allow the current flow from source to drain we need to apply positive gate voltage relative to source so this positive voltage attracts the electrons into the channel that create a path for current flow from source to drain the more positive voltage across the gate the more electrons are pulled into the channel and the current will also increase so across the gate we need to apply the positive voltage so as this positive voltage increases the current will also increase in n mos transistor next is threshold voltage there is a specific voltage called as threshold voltage which is represented by vt that the gate voltage must exceed to turn on the transistor so which means the voltage across the gate which is specifically positive voltage across the gate should be greater than vt so that it can turn on the transistor so if we say gate voltage which means the voltage across gate and a source so the voltage across gate and source which is the voltage applied across the gate should be greater than the threshold voltage so that the transistor is turned on if the voltage across gate is less than threshold voltage at that case the transistor will be off so if we say transistor is off which means a very little current or negligible amount of current will flow through the mos transistor 
So we can say the NMOS transistor will conduct when a positive voltage is applied across the gate and this positive voltage across the gate should be greater than threshold voltage so that the current can flow. So if we say positive voltage across the gate greater than threshold voltage, the transistor will be turned on. If this positive voltage is less than threshold voltage, transistor will be off and there will be negligible amount of current that is flowing through the transistor. So you need to remember for a NMOS transistor, a positive voltage should be applied across the gate which should be greater than threshold voltage so that the transistor can conduct the current flow. Now let us understand PMOS transistor. The letter P in PMOS transistor stands for P type which means the majority charge carriers will be holes. The P type transistor has some key characteristics. The first characteristics is majority charge carrier. So the majority charge carriers in PMOS transistor are holes. So holes are positively charged. So these holes are attracted to negative voltage. Next is gate voltage effect. Since the majority charge carriers are whole, the voltage that is applied across the gate should be negative. This negative voltage will attract the holes in the channel that will help in flow of current from source to drain. Next is threshold voltage. To turn on the PMOS transistor, the voltage across the gate VG should be less than threshold voltage. So this will turn on the PMOS transistor. So if VG is greater than VTH, that will turn off the PMOS transistor. So here if we say VG, which means the voltage across gate and source. So the voltage across gate and source is negative and this negative voltage should be less than the threshold voltage to turn on the PMOS transistor. So which means the negative voltage should be more negative. So here the threshold voltage is very important in both NMOS and PMOS transistor. So the operation of PMOS transistor will be exactly opposite to the NMOS transistor. So in NMOS transistor, electrons are majority charge carriers. Hence, the gate should be applied with positive voltage and this positive voltage should be greater than the threshold voltage to turn on the NMOS transistor. In PMOS transistors, holes are the majority charge carriers. Hence, a negative voltage should be applied across the gate and this negative voltage should be more negative than the threshold voltage to turn on the PMOS transistor. So this concept is very much important to understand the MOS transistors. So we can say a PMOS transistor will conduct when we apply negative voltage across the gate and this negative voltage should be less than the threshold voltage so that it can conduct the flow of current. So if we say negative voltage across the gate should be less than threshold voltage, which means this negative voltage should be more negative compared to the threshold voltage. So here you need to remember the threshold voltage is the minimum voltage required by the transistor to turn on. Now let us understand enhancement and depletion mode. So there are two modes of transistor, which is enhancement mode and depletion mode based on two types of transistors which we are having. So first type of transistor is enhancement type of transistor and second type of transistor is depletion type of transistor as shown in this figure. The major difference between enhancement type and depletion type of transistor is the availability of channel. So in enhancement type of transistor, the channel is absent and in depletion type of transistor, there will be a channel that is already present. So as you can observe here, there is no channel in enhancement type of transistor for the flow of current, but there is already a channel that is present in depletion type of transistor. 
since there is no channel in the enhancement type of transistor so the voltage that is applied across the gate will form the channel later then the transistor will conduct in enhancement mode of transistor the transistor is off when vgs is equal to zero when the voltage across gate and source is equal to zero the enhancement mode transistor will be off since we have taken a n type transistor in an enhancement mode we need to apply a positive voltage between gate and source to turn on the transistor if we take p type enhancement mode transistor at that case we need to apply a negative voltage to turn on the transistor so what happens when we apply positive voltage for n type so whenever we apply positive voltage here whatever electrons that are present in p substrate will be attracted towards the gate and they will accumulate below the gate that will form the channel that will create a path so that a current can flow from drain to source in an enhancement mode if it is p mos transistor or p type transistor the substrate will be n type at that case if we apply negative voltage all the holes that are present in n type substrate will accumulate below the gate so that it will form a path for current flow from drain to the source so in an enhancement mode a positive voltage is applied for n mos transistor and a negative voltage is applied for p mos transistor so most of the mos transistors especially in digital circuits are enhancement mode transistors because they are easy to control and it will also consume less power when turned off the next type of transistor is depletion type of transistor since the channel is already exist even for vgs is equal to 0 the transistor will be on since the channel already present even for voltage vgs is equal to 0 the transistor will turn on so this operation is known as depletion mode of operation so to turn off the depletion type of transistor you need to apply gate voltage in opposite direction which means for n mos transistor you need to apply negative voltage and for p mos transistor you need to apply the positive voltage so for a n mos transistor if you apply negative voltage which means these electrons that are present in the channel will move towards p substrate and there will be less majority charge carriers for current flow in the same way for a p mos depletion type if you apply positive voltage the holes will move towards p substrate and there will be less majority charge carriers in the channel and the current cannot flow so this is the major difference between enhancement and depletion mode so this figure shows the characteristics of enhancement mode and depletion mode of a transistor so this characteristics shows the drain current versus gate to source voltage so it is a plot of id versus vgs the first characteristics is n channel enhancement mode so as you can observe the drain current is zero when vgs is less than vth once vgs is greater than vth the drain current increases so here id is equal to zero for vgs less than threshold voltage and the current id increases when vgs is greater than the threshold voltage the second diagram shows the characteristics of n channel depletion type so in n channel depletion type the drain current is negative when vgs is less than 0 so this shows when vgs is greater than 0 the current increases so to turn off this n channel depletion type the vgs should be less than minus vth so here we can say id is non zero for vgs less than 0 and id increases for vgs greater than 0 in n channel depletion type so this is the characteristics for p channel enhancement mode
for a p channel enhancement mode the current id will be equal to 0 when vgs is greater than threshold voltage so vgs less than threshold voltage the drain current increases so we can say id is equal to 0 when vgs is greater than the threshold voltage and id will increase when vgs is less than the threshold voltage as you can observe in this diagram so this is the characteristics of p channel depletion type here as you can observe as vgs is positive or greater than zero there will be some positive drain current and at vgs is equal to zero the current is non-zero so as vgs become more negative the current will increase so to turn off this p channel depletion type we need vgs greater than vtp so in this mode id is non-zero for vgs is equal to zero the current id increases for vgs less than zero now let us understand cmos technology cmos stands for complementary metal oxide semiconductor it is a technology that uses both nmos and pmos transistors in a single circuit the complementary metal oxide semiconductor are very important and powerful because of complementary operations if we say complementary operations which means if nmos is on pmos will be off and if pmos is on nmos will be off this means there is almost no current flow through the circuit when it is in a steady state if we say steady state which means either fully on or fully off which makes a CMOS circuit very power efficient. It is helpful in modern usage, which are used in smartphones or computers. Specifically, these modern circuits that are used in smartphones and computers uses enhancement mode transistors because they are normally off and they use the power only when they are turned on which is ideal for low power digital circuits. So in this video, we understood about MOS transistor basics, where a MOS transistor controls the current between source and drain using gate voltage. Hence, we can say it is a controlled switch. Then we understood about the NMOS and PMOS transistor, where we understood that the NMOS will be on when we apply positive voltage across the gate and PMOS will turn on when we apply negative voltage across the gate and also in NMOS transistor VGS should be greater than VT which is threshold voltage to turn on and in PMOS transistor VGS should be less than VT to turn on the transistor also we understood about enhancement mode and depletion mode the enhancement mode is normally off and it needs gate voltage to turn on depletion mode transistors are normally on and it needs gate voltage to turn off then finally we understood about cmos technology which is the combination of NMOS and PMOS. So this combination of NMOS and PMOS helps in efficient low power circuits mostly used in enhancement mode of transistors. This is about introduction to MOS transistors. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.